Now a feature that pretty much every DJ platform has now that I don't see enough people using creatively is a feature called Instant Doubles. Now for reference, what Instant Doubles does is I can start a track on this side, hit Instant Doubles on the other deck, and it'll line it up perfectly on time, and I can take it out and switch over to this deck. And then just for reference, I can take this one out of time, hit Instant Doubles again, switch back, and they're perfectly on time. Now this is really handy, especially if maybe you're DJing on turntables and there's issues with one deck, maybe the RCAs are broken or the turn tone arm or the cartridge or even CDJs, you could have RCA issues or maybe HID mode isn't working correctly. Having instant doubles allows you to DJ with just one deck, copying the song over and you can still DJ pretty much uh, competently and get your whole set off and finish mixing. But there's other ways to use instant doubles and make it more creative. And I wanna go over three different ways that I use it. And let me show you with this first one, which would be an old school turntablist hip hop trick called doubling up, right? So let's start this at the hook again, or the beginning of the verse. Instant double. Now the original way to do this would be to nudge it like a half beat forward. Right? Super easy, super simple. Using instant doubles makes it really easy to line that up. But what if I told you there was a way to make it even faster and even more locked in on time? So we'll do the same thing. Start this at the beginning of the verse. I can instant double. Now I can use another feature called beat jump. Set that to a half beat. Beat jump a half beat forward. Now doing it this way, not only makes sure that they're perfectly lined up BPM wise, but also when I make that jump, I know it's perfectly a half beat forward and I can get that double up off in just two button presses instead of having to you know, start the track and nudge it. You can save some time and also make sure that it's super duper clean. Now the second way that I like using beat jump creatively is making my own on the fly short edits. So for instance, we have this track, here's the first hook. And notice we have that whole second verse and say maybe I wanted to jump and skip that whole second verse and go right into this second hook and go into the, the third verse right after that, right? So using instant doubles with beat jump, I can actually cut out that whole second verse and jump straight into that third verse, right? So for this example, I want to set my beat jump to 16 beats or four bars. And the key to this is finding a similar part of the track. So for most open format, pop, hip hop, R&B songs, you're gonna to wanna to do this over the hook of the song. For a dance music, you'll probably wanna do this over similar buildups or breakdowns. So for this example, we're gonna do it over this hook right here, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and have this cue point set eight bars before, just for this example. All right, now I know it should be lined up. Yep, those two line up. Perfectly jump that second verse just like that using B jump in conjunction with instant doubles. Really handy to do those short edits on the fly instead of having to make them in the studio. Or maybe you're just, you just started up at the gig and you wanna skip that verse because the third one is the part that everybody sings you can do it really quickly using these two features in conjunction together. Now the third way you can use instant doubles creatively and something that I'm just starting to experiment with, and this is specifically for DJ platforms that have really good stems, so I'm talking Serato DJ is where I use it, Algorithm DJ has really good stems, even Virtual DJ has really good sounding stems. What we can do is I can start the track, right, instant double over, switch to my stems mode now I can switch this one into in instrumental and this one into acapella now I have the song split acapella and instrumental right and this can be really fun to do dropouts like that or even adding effects in right maybe I want to add some reverb to the the beat Right, 
which is super cool. You can get really creative with how you use this in your transition. And especially with Serato, it's so easy to get back to the original version track with just one button press. Just like that. Right back to it. Super simple. I'm just starting to play with this right now, but I could see this being really handy and you know, when I want to get creative and do those kind of beat dropouts with just the acapella or maybe put an echo on the beat or a reverb on the beat and I don't want to do it on the acapella. Having this feature allows me to do it. And there's some really expensive hardware that you know will do it for you, but using instant doubles, you can do it pretty much with any piece of gear as long as it supports the software that you're using, in my case, Serato DJ. And that's it for this video. I'm really excited to see how you guys flip instant doubles and stop just using it for copying songs over to the other deck. Give it a try. I'm sure you can find a way to implement it into your DJ setup and make your sets more creative and just add an extra layer to how you DJ. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, be sure to subscribe. And if you're looking for more DJ related content, please be sure to click on one of the videos right here and I'll catch you guys in the next one.